Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. My name is Angel and I am back to do another box opening. This here is my Christmas present and I know I did say I wasn't going to get any more babies but this is one I have wanted from day one and I didn't realize that this was a sold out limited edition and quite long ago that it was sold out so you can still get your hands on it but it's not as easy and I found it at a phenomenal price on Reborns.com. Um, so many things about this baby I'm going to tell you once I open it. I'll tell you the gender and all that um, but in the name but just I couldn't pass this up. I couldn't. I could not pass it up. So, yeah, I'm just excited. And this is my Christmas present. So, the other one, um, I got the pickle. That was my birthday present. Uh, one of my birthday presents. And then um, the, I got two pickles. And I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the second one. My husband said, no, hold both of them. Because he said, um, I know you wanted one through Deborah Miller. So, he said, that's why I grabbed that one for you. When I seen one come up at the time when I got you the one, I didn't know that um, Deborah was going to do another one. So that's why I got you a yeah, Deborah Miller because I knew you wanted that because they were not that expensive, the two babies. So he's telling me to hold on to it. He's not, he wants me to keep it. Well, I'm having the one as a girl and the Deborah Miller one as a boy. So kind of cool I have that. That was my um, birthday present and it was supposed to be birthday and Christmas. But, um, you know, my husband said that he wanted, when he saw this and knew all about it too, some things about it, he wanted to grab this for me. Um, so, yep, this is my Christmas present now. But no more babies for a long time. This is what was told. I was, I mean, I don't even want any more, but my husband did tell me too that, you know, this is it for a long time. And um, yeah, so just excited though. You guys are going to be blown away at this baby. I've wanted it for so long. Just didn't know there were certain babies that, you know, you want, but this one was a unique baby, you know, really unique. And I never realized it was a sold out and it was the only one ever made in the type of baby it is from the, um, cell, you know, from the, um, actual uh sculptor it was the only one i guess you can't get this type of baby and you know no other sculptors did this type of baby so i didn't know all of that i guess i didn't do my research but when i found out just seeing one one day on reborns i started to think oh yeah that was the baby i wanted so i was just kind of looking it up and then i started to find a lot out about it well you're going to find out even more when i open it and it was just a phenomenal price i couldn't pass it up you guys i just couldn't um so like i said it was my christmas present my husband and i bought it together um, I had sold a few babies out of my collection. I got rid of four of my silicones out of my collection. And I also sold a baby, so my Phoebe. So I was able to, you know, pay for part of it too. And my husband did. He wanted to be part of it. Um, he still got a few other Christmas presents coming for me late. Um, some things that um, I, you know, he said, just go ahead and order some things. But this was something he just added to it. And I did as well. So yeah, the two of the best sculpts are going to be my pickle and this one right here are going to be the best um, for actually owning, being sold out limited edition. Now the pickle isn't completely sold out, but um, it is getting to that point where it's going to be. You'll still be able to get your hands on it because people would have bought the kits and are doing it, but this one is even longer. So this one is a little bit harder to get your hands on and it's going to be really hard once it's all the way done and you can't get it. You have to hope somebody's going to sell one, you know, get rid of a pre-loved one. Um, this one is a pre-loved one. And it was cool. I actually got to meet, well, not meet, but talk to the lady that had her first, the original mommy on a site of mine on Facebook. When I put up her photograph, she goes, oh my God, that was my baby. She goes, I sold her a while ago. I was the first owner of her. Wow. And I think there was only one other owner. And then the one that I got it from, um, I think she was third. And I don't know if she was an owner. If she just got it to sell it or if she was an owner of it. I'm not sure. But yeah, but she's pristine. That's what it even said on the site. She's pristine. Um, and then I'll tell you more about it. And I'm saying she, yes, it's a girl. We got a girl here, you guys, a baby girl. I've got all of the things covered, so we're going to go ahead and open it up. And if it's everything's covered, then I can not worry about her showing. Get rid of the COA here. Oh, my God, she smells so good. Oh, she's got that baby powder smell. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Okay, let's pull some of this stuff out. And she is wrapped really good. Okay, let's get her out of here. Um, hang on, you guys. I gotta grab a hold of her. I want to make sure her face was covered. I'm gonna put her in the beautiful basket here. The beautiful basket. Oh my God, she smells so good. She's got that uh, wonder wafer in her. So that is amazing. And her face is covered. Okay, there she is. Oh, she smells so good. Oh my God, I am super excited. I love when they do those Wonder Wafers. Let's make sure she is completely in frame here because we do not want to lose on this one. 
This is a phenomenal baby. Oh my God, she smells so good. I don't know if she's got like five wafers in her or what. Holy cow, she smells like a brand new baby. Okay, let's open it. Look at how pretty this is, you guys. Look at this. Oh my gosh, how pretty is that? This is a headband wrapped around her. So pretty. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. Are you guys ready to see this baby? I know I am. Um, it's a day late. It's the 26th today. Um, I don't know if you guys will get this video today, but I'll try to get it up. But um, day late getting it because when I ordered it, it I knew because of Christmas it was going to be a day. It was supposed to be here on the 27th, but it got here a day early. So late Christmas present, but just one day late. I'm so excited. All right, let's do it. Let's open her up. Look at this baby. Do you guys see what I'm seeing? Oh my goodness. Look at these little short arms. Look at these little short legs and feet. What do we got here, you guys? What do we got here? Look at this beautiful pacifier. Look at that. That came with her in this outfit. Oh my gosh. Look at this outfit. So phenomenal. You guys already know what baby this is. You already know, right? Look at her. I want to draw in a little bit more. Oh my God, she is painted to perfection. When I tell you, the art, um, the artist, I'll have to put it up here, but tell you a little bit more about it. Now you got to see the face on this one. I got to see the face on this one. Ready? Oh my God, look at her. It's a dwarfism, you guys. This is the Nino. Look at her. Oh my God. Look at that hair. Oh my God. Is she beautiful? Let's look at these little feet. I just want to see her paint job because I can see her hands. Oh my goodness. These legs are so fat and short. Oh, oh my goodness. Her modeling is so good. She is. Oh, she's got like the best uh, seal. It's that that seal that people talk about that's got like the um the uh, uh, texture to it. She's got that texture seal. So it's going to stay. But oh my gosh, let me get her up here to you guys. Look at first off, look at the face. Oh, it's weighted so good too. Look at her. Oh my goodness. Look at that lip. Look at that paint job. She's got rooted lashes and they're long rooted um, eyebrows. Look at the eyebrows. Look at the hair. It's messy because she was in the box, but she's got pristine rooted hair oh my god she is gorgeous you guys oh my gosh look at these legs look at these chunky legs look at how beautiful she is oh my gosh look at the mottling and everything back up look at the toes look at the feet on the bottom look at the other leg look at her hand look at the veining oh god I could cry right now oh I am getting teared up, you guys. I have always wanted one of these, but I didn't know that it was a sold out. I didn't know it was the only ever, you know, sculptor that ever did a dwarfism baby. As far as I know, I've never, ever known any other sculptor to do one. And the sculptor is uh, Vicenza Dolls. And I have um, my um, sold out limited edition, only 250. And then there was a second edition of the Guchen. I got through the Vicenza, Vicenza Care, I think it is, or Vicenza Doll. Um, but oh my God, she is so pretty, weighted so good. She's 20 inches and she's six pounds, you guys. And what a floppy head. Oh my goodness, baby, you smell so good. Oh, she is so perfect. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. And you guys know how much I love the Wizard of Oz. So of course I love, um, you know, the little uh, little people on there. Um, with, you know, of course, the dwarfism, um, the little, uh, you don't want to use offensive words, so the munchkins on there. Um, so I always wanted to get myself a little munchkin, and I got myself one. Um, but, uh, you know, it's the dwarfism. Babies born with that um, disease, you know, d born with that defect as a dwarfism baby where their body is normal size, their torso is normal size, but their legs and their arms are short, and their head is oversized, so it's a bigger head. But, oh, my gosh, she is so cute. And because I love the Wizard of Oz, it just made me think of that. And then um, it says right here, it's a girl. And we'll see how, oh, the pacifier works really good on her, too. And it's got an M. I do not know, and neither does the seller know what the M stood for. Um, but that's okay, because I'm going to use it as Munchkin. That's going to be her little nickname. So the M will stand for Munchkin, because she's my little Munchkin. You know, I do Munchkin Mondays, but she is an actual little Munchkin. So that's what I'm going to use the M for, but let me tell you her name. 
All right, I'm using it from the Wizard of Oz, you guys. Meet Poppy Gale. So you got Poppy for the flower, the poppy field they ran through on the Wizard of Oz, and Gale for Dorothy Gale. So we got Poppy Gale here. Poppy is her first name, and I think it fits her perfectly, perfectly for a dwarfism baby. Um, yeah, I, like I said, she is phenomenal. Holy cow, she's phenomenal. She's still so good. She smells so good. Her hair is so perfect. I am so excited. I can't stand it. Oh my gosh, I forgot. We'll look at what she came with. Okay, so she came with the outfit also that was in the photograph, this cute, beautiful outfit here. Um, it's white with lavender little flowers on it or purple flowers with the lace. She was also filmed in that, um, uh, her photographs in the photograph that, and she had this on. She also had cat ears. I don't see the cat ears here, um, so I don't think that they came with her, the little cat ears. I thought they were coming with her, but I don't see them here. Um, yep, here's the Wonder Patch. She must have one in here, and there was one in the box. So we know that she had, oh, two of them. Like I told you, there had to be a bunch of them in there. So, hey, we'll put this one in her if she doesn't have one in her, um, you know, or whatever. But the the Wonder Wafer baby patches, that's what makes them smell so good. When you smell a baby, that smells that good it's because they have these. Um, all right, her COA, let me show you the COA right here, you guys. Vicenza Care, Time Limited Edition, Nino. There is the... Po um, what do they call it? The, uh, um, oh, I forget what they call prototype. Those are the prototypes of the different ones that they did. There's the back there. Facts about, um, how do you say that word? I don't know how to say the first part. Anna, Anna, no, dwarfism or dwarflasia, dwarfism. I'm not sure how you say that, but it talks about what a baby, you know, when a baby has that and, um, says there are over 200 different types of dwarfism. Wow, a lot of different things about the baby. But yeah, there is the COA there in the pro, um, prototype photos that they showed, different ones that they could do. But oh my gosh, I love mine so much. Um, it doesn't have a number, and I was unsure on that, like why they never were given a number, but it was I guess they only were doing it for like one year they were doing this baby. And then if you could get your hands on it, it's because people, you know, might still have them where they sold theirs or still have some of the kits. But, yeah, it's not easy to get it. But, oh, my gosh, I love her. Love Poppy. Oh, everybody meet Little Miss Poppy. And this will be M for my munchkin. Yes, for my munchkin. Because you really are a munchkin. You're so beautiful. Oh, my gosh, you smell so good. Yes, you do. Mwah. Oh, I'm so happy to own you, Miss Poppy. Yes. Oh, her lips. Look at that pouty lip, you guys, and how they did it lighter. That suck bump. Oh, she is just perfect in every single way. God, her head is so floppy. Oh, I love her. What a Christmas and birthday. A pickle and a Nino. Come on. You can't get any better than that. There was people that I was showing photographs to on Facebook said, my gosh, you better marry that man again. I already have. I married him six times the first five years we renewed our vows and our 10 year we renewed it and um, i said well i already did and then she said well then you got to take him like on a special vacation or something she goes, and if he's looking for a second wife i'm available <laughs> so a lot of people were saying well you have such a lucky you know very lucky to have a husband like that and you know he is great i mean we all have you know we're all imperfect we all make mistakes so it's not like i have a perfect husband but right now he's perfect <laughs> for buying her for me no um but you know he just is a good husband, and, and there's many good husbands out there, but he's got his faults, just like I do. But I'm just so happy to have a Pickle and a Nino, two of the sculpts that are really awesome, and my Guchin, really awesome to have your hands on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my box opening of my Christmas present of my beautiful Poppy. I'm going to enjoy her now. Everybody take care, God bless, and I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Oh! Gosh, you guys, I almost went off and forgot to tell you a couple things about her. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, real quick. She was done by a um, a uh, Russian artist, okay? And those Russian artists, they don't tell you their secrets, what they use for paints or anything. The Russian artist, I'll put it right up there on the screen. Um, she was painted by a Russian artist. Um, also, she, the lady that I did meet that was the first mommy actually had the outfit she came home in, the Russian little outfit. And she told me, if you would like it, I'm going to send it to you for free. Well, she goes, let me see if I can find it. I got to go through the clothes. I will dig and dig and dig until I find it. I want to send it to you. I'm going to show you the photograph. I'm going to put it up. 
That's what she actually got her in when she got her. So she wants me to own that. She wants me to have that and to stay with this baby because it's what came on her. And it was a Russian little outfit. So that was another thing unique about her too. I wanted to tell you guys how unique and just cool how I met the first mommy and just how I got my hands on this one. So now I can get going and I'm going to enjoy this beautiful little poppy. Take care, everyone, and God bless. Merry Christmas late and Happy New Year.